Hey Train World TV, I'm here with Matt Gentry from Athern Trains and we're going to talk about the new SD60M, but I haven't done my research so Matt's going to go and talk about it for me. So Matt, can you tell us about this new SD60M locomotive? Sure James. Um, we These are, like James said, the SD60M and this is the first build variation commonly referred to as the Triclops locomotive and they got that moniker from the three-piece windshield on the front of the cab and it's the full width nose uh, wide cab locomotive. The later 60Ms with the two-piece windshield had a more tapered nose for crew visibility um, and this is the early version that does not have that feature. Uh, the two samples that we have here are a Sioux Line CP rail variant and then we have the late phase Union Pacific variation. So this Union Pacific version here is the late variation where they have the tapered end of the nose and this one for crew visibility so they had greater visibility out the front of the locomotive. Um, the features here on the Sioux Line Canadian Pacific version is they have the square sand filler hatches that were uh, specific to the five that Sioux Line ordered from the factory. Uh, they have deck mounted uh, ditch lights on them when you compare that to the pilot mounted Union Pacific and then the Sioux Lines also had a different uh, window in the nose door and they either had a high placement or a lower placement and we have done both versions of that. Um, again the Canadian variation has the winterization hatch on top of the body. Um, some of the other features uh, that we have on these models are the late and early style electrical cabinets behind the cabs. Of this being the late phase 60M3 window has the late electrical cabinet variation with the kick plate along the whole uh, section of the handrail. This one just has the small electrical cabinet and a different shape and no kick plate of the handrails behind the cab. Um, different uh, access panels to the dynamic brake uh, mechanism. Um, and then some of the features on the back of the locomotive. Uh, the Union Pacific does not have lighted number boards. Uh, Union Pacific only put vinyl lettering on for their rear numbers. Uh, Sioux Line, uh, Burlington Northern, um, also they had lighted rear number boards. So we have that variation as well on these. Um, these are the Genesis 2.0 models. So they have the etched see-through steps on the corner of the walkways. Um, they have dual cube speakers on the inside of the locomotive, full featured LED lighting, uh, ground effect lights, lighted number boards, um, front and rear headlights or LEDs, and then LED ditch lights. And this is a first for Genesis. We have spinning roller bearing caps on our brand newly tooled Genesis HTC truck side frame. So the uh, roller bearing spin with the wheels, and then we also have tooled up new uh, brake cylinders that are actually in the off position. They are not extended as you see on most models which would mean that they're, uh, the brakes are set. So just some very small minute details to really push these models over the top. Okay, the gray is kind of messing with the camera. It doesn't want to focus too well but hopefully you guys got a good HD look at this. We can go full screen and make sure the settings are on HD if you want to see more details. I'll try to keep it at a little bit of a distance here. But thanks, Matt, for your time. Looks like another great Genesis release in 2.0 with that Tsunami 2 decoder and that great Genesis drive. Should be a smooth operator. Right. Thanks, James. Thanks for coming by and uh, checking these out for everybody. All right. And as always, you guys can shop online at trainworld.com.